Hey guys, happy Friday. Can't believe it's the end of a week already. So, um, yeah, as I told you guys, I started Cipro last night. Went to the doctor yesterday and um, took another dose of Cipro this morning. And I started prednisone early this afternoon, 40 milligrams. And um, I was just um, adjusting my insulin and my insulin pump because prednisone sends my sugars really out of whack and very high. So um, that's what I've been doing and I just finished my chest BT. And um, I'm just setting up over there behind me. I don't know if you guys can really see, see my sterilizer. I use a baby bottle sterilizer to sterilize my nebulizer cup. So I'm just doing that. And I guess I'll give you guys a sneak peek on how I do that. I think I showed you guys in the past. But I don't know if I showed you guys exactly how I set that up. So I'll show you guys how I do it. I like to use the Nuke to sterilize my Parry Nebulizer cup. So I'm going to take this out really quick and show you guys exactly how I set it up. So this is the hot plate. It's not on or anything yet. So in the Nuke, there's a piece here. Ooh, if I could get it out. Hold so on. Here you have it. Inside here was this piece, this measuring cup. So I fill up water up to 1.5 here and then I fill it up again up to 1.0 so I do a total of 2.5 mls I think it's mls right yes a total of 2.5 mls of water but I use distilled water so I buy distilled water at wherever CVS shop right wherever you shop comes in a gallon so I do 2.5 of that fill it up and you pour your water right into here as I did already, then you just, you can dry that out, which I'll dry that all out later, and you put that back into there. And then, I don't plug this in until I'm ready, because once I accidentally push this button, once that's not sterilizing, it's done in six minutes, and it gets very hot, so I wait to plug in my sterilizer. But, um, for those of you who don't know, the Nuke is actually discontinued, unfortunately. However, I got this years ago, and I just ordered a new one. There's still a few left in stock on Amazon. I got it from Amazon Prime. I have an account. So there may be like three or four left on there. You can still go on and get one if you haven't gotten one already. So I got one as a backup because I really, really like this sterilizer. And once this goes and the other one, I'll probably get quite a few years left out of them. Um, but once those go, then um, yeah, I'll have to find a new sterilizer. I like to use distilled water because when you use regular tap water, it leaves water deposits on the metal plate, which, um, as I showed you guys, here is that metal plate right there. And you can see a couple of water spots. I know it's not too bright. You'll see a couple of left deposits. It leaves water deposits, which will then ruin your, um, it'll ruin it, and it'll leave, like, it'll leave water deposits, and it gets, like, uh, can't explain it. Um... It ruins the surface and it won't be smooth any longer. And then um, it'll start to burn actually when you put on your sterilizer and you don't want that. It starts to get all like brownish and burnt. And so it's best to use distilled water and then after you're done using that, you can just dry it up with a paper towel. So um, I like to use distilled water. If you are using regular water, the best thing to do afterwards is take white distilled vinegar on a paper towel and clean it off immediately. Once it cools, get rid of that water, sop it up, put a paper towel, and then use white distilled vinegar and uh, put that on a rag, paper towel, and clean it off. That'll help get rid of the water deposits that build up. And that way, hopefully, you won't have the uh, surface getting all burnt. So, on to the next step. What I like to do is I like to take my nebulizer I like cup. to take my nebulizer cup and just rinse it out with regular tap water. So I just rinse that. Then I take it and I put it into here like that. You don't want it sitting on the bottom. So we like to use this piece here and uh, assemble it and then put the pieces all within here so that they sit nicely. All your uh, parry, these are the parry nebulizer cups. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can see how they sit within there. All right, and then I take my I don't even know what this is called, but you assemble it like that, the way you would for uh, baby bottles. <coughs> and next is the inside piece, the mouthpiece. The other piece that goes inside of the nebulizer cup. 
and then the top. So what I like to do is I don't like to mix. Once they're sterilized, I believe that believe it doesn't matter which medication goes in which, but I am not sure. I still don't know the answer to that. So I don't like to mix up the medications in different nebulizers. So I like to still keep them separate. So I know the difference. I like to start with uh, keeping them in order in the order that I actually do my nebulizers throughout the day. So I like to start with my albuterol. Then I do my albuterol here. Then I do my plumazine. Then I do my antibiotic. And then I do my last, my steroid, because I'm on a steroid inhaled one. So what I like to do is start with my mouthpiece. I like to start with the cap. And then I end it with the inside piece so that I know, okay, this is one nebulizer, this is the albuterol. Then I do the same thing, start with the mouthpiece, the cap, and the inside piece. So then I know, okay, that's plumazine. Then I know I open the mouthpiece, the cap, and then the inside piece. So I know, okay, that's another piece. So that's how I do it. And then pretty much what you're going to do is put this assembled on top of here. You take your cap to your nuke, put it on top of there. And I like to take... As stupid as sounds, I didn't realize the first time you used this, but see this little opening here? It's going to have a little opening so that the steam can come out so it could breathe. Because it's going to give off steam once it sterilizes. So I don't like to keep that near my cabinets because then it's going all underneath. So I want this out here so that it's going out into the air. So keep that there. Plug this in. And I'm not going to do that right this second because I have one more nebulizer that I have to finish. Uh doing I have to inhale the medication <laughs> and then um, I have to just rinse it out and uh, do it but what you would do is then um, just plug this in and then push this button down and then you'll see that light up orange and it will go for about six minutes to eight minutes and uh, once it's done the light will go off and uh, you'll see this will stop steaming and it'll be all finished and I will show you guys once I do that. And um, I'm not sure if you guys can hear that noise it's making. That's really it as far as sterilizing goes. It's done in less than 10 minutes. It's really simple. And um, that's all there is to it. And it's ready for the next use. And be careful when you're taking them out because they're extremely hot. It's like taking things right out of the dishwasher as soon as it turns off. So you don't want to get burnt. You want to wait a couple of minutes. You can even use um, a set of these that you may have. You want to use maybe you want a set of those to take them out if you want them out immediately, but you don't have to. And then as far as um, <clears throat> drying the pieces off of the actual nuke, I like to put them in the drain board and just let them air dry. And sometimes I use paper towel to dry it off. And then like I said with the plate, the metal plate you could just sop up the water and um it's still good to use a little bit of uh distilled white vinegar on a rag just to get rid of extra water deposits so that way your um sterilizer will last you longer because if not the first time around when i was a teenager i didn't know when they first told us to start using these mine didn't even last past six months it was completely ruined and uh we had to buy a brand new one so that's just a little tip, and um, yeah, that's all I have to say about sterilizing. But um, good luck, and uh, if you have any questions that I can answer for you guys, leave them in the comments. So if you found our video helpful, please um, like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And um, follow our daily vlogs. My husband and I, we do daily vlogs about um, our life with cystic fibrosis and diabetes and just our regular married life and uh, feel free to share with your friends and family and um, I hope you guys follow our journey and uh, thanks for watching